Hello, welcome along to the NLA Science Tutorials. Acceleration. We've all got an idea what it is, but do we know how to define it, and more importantly, measure it? Acceleration is defined at the rate at which an object changes its velocity. Therefore, acceleration is equal to the change in velocity divided by the change in time. To check out this guy, for example, he's having the time of his life, but he has no acceleration because he has reached a constant velocity as he's fallen through the air. So, how do we measure acceleration? Well, we're going to set up the apparatus as shown here below in front of me. What we're going to do is apply a driving force to our trolley and collect the times at which it passes through the light gates. Okay? Two light gates, we're going to explain both of them to you. So the first light gate we're going to use to measure the change in time. Delta T, the change in time. And that's going to be recorded by the poles that are sticking out on top of the card. The first pole is going to break the beam of light, start a timer. And the second pole breaks that beam of light, the timer will stop, and that will give us delta T. The second light gate we're going to use to obtain the change in velocity. And what's going to happen, we're going to measure the length of time that the card is breaking the beam of light. The first light gate is connected to this datameter, which we're going to use to measure the change in time. The second light gate is connected to this datameter, which we're going to use to measure the change in velocity. And as you can see, we've got our ramp set up slightly at an angle. This is to compensate for friction. Now how you achieve this, what you want to do is slightly tilt the ramp until the, with the gentleness of push, the trolley will fall down the ramp at a constant speed. I've already done this, which is why it's set up as so. You guys can drive yourselves. So the change of time is going to be obtained using these two poles and the first light gate. It's going to happen, the pole is going to cross the beam of light, start a timer. When the second pole crosses that beam of light, it's going to stop the timer. That's going to give us our change in time. And as you can see from the piece of card, these two cross sections that are cut out, they've been calculated at 4 centimeters long. So that gives us our distance. Now the second light gate, we're going to measure the length of time at which this piece of card is breaking that beam of light. So what I'd like you to do, we're going to run the experiment, repeat each three times. So we're going to apply no weight at all, just use gravity to carry the trolley down the ramp. Calculate acceleration from that, repeat that three times. Then we're going to apply 20 grams, repeat the experiment three times. We're going to increase that in increments of 20 grams until we reach 100 grams. And then we've got enough to stop. One thing you have to remember, one piece of safety, falling weights, if you've got a little tray full of rags, some polystyrene, something soft that will cushion the blow so you're not damaging the floor. Another piece of um, safety advice, don't let the trolley free flow into the poly at the bottom of the desk. So as you release the trolley, we're going to catch it at the other end. If you want to, you can work with pairs to do this. So, at the end of the experiment, we've collected all our recordings, we've calculated all our velocities, we've got the change in times, we've got the change in velocities, we've calculated our accelerations, what to do now. What we're going to do now is we're going to plot a graph, which is going to plot the acceleration recorded against the mass of the driving force. So we're going to draw a graph. Okay, we're going to have acceleration on the y-axis. We're going to have mass on the x-axis. When you recorded your data, you calculated everything, when you bought your points, when your final point goes on, I'd like you to join the data together with a curve, coming from zero all the way through each point. When you've done that, you're going to draw a line of best fit. So what have we learned? Well we've learned that time measurements obtained using the light gates can allow us to calculate velocities. We've also learned that when the trolley experiences a constant force provided by the pulley, it maintains a constant acceleration.